Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back to HBWN. This week, we are continuing our Thanksgiving special. Coming up, we will take a look at how a group here at Harbor is taking a different approach to fundraising. Plus, with the weather already accumulating in early November, a number of snow days are expected to take place. It's definitely going to be a chilly winter. Today is November 22, 2014, and you're watching Harbor Wildcat News. A group of students here at Harbor who are involved in student council are projecting a new, more exciting way of fundraising by adding a fun aspect to increase student interaction. Gustavo has a story. This year, the Harbor Student Council is hosting a dunk competition to help raise money for a good cause. The dunk contest itself is a way for student council to raise money. Um, also, some of the proceeds are going to go towards the charity, and it's just a way for the school to get involved and come back and um, have a fun time. The competition will feature Mr. Sherman, but will be open to anybody who wishes to participate. We decided to do Mr. Sherman in a dunk contest with a basketball player or like other seniors in the school, um, just to get support from our school. And so you can pay a dollar to activity period, and you can go watch them see who has the better dunk. And we have like a panel of student judges and probably some teachers as well. So be sure to bring your shoes and your skills to the court to help support the cause. I don't know who you are or what you want. If you're looking for money, I can assure you I don't have any. But what I do have is a particular set of skills, skills that I've acquired over the years. If you give up now, I won't pursue you. I won't come after you. But if you don't, I will find you and I will dunk on you. For HVWN, I'm Gustavo Ariza. Taking a different approach to fundraising sure can make a dramatic difference in the success of the fundraiser. And what a great way to get the student body involved in providing for the community this Thanksgiving. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we get back, we'll get your spirits high with some highlights from the basketball showcase. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. WCSN Wildcats, I'm Hayden Henry. And I'm Josh Uzalak. Last week we got to take a look at the Wildcats basketball team showcase for the season. Let's take a look. Welcome back Harbor Wildcat fans. Last week marked the first basketball game of the year. They took on the Harrison Goblins and we were there to catch the highlights. Let's get right to it. Tip off recovered by the Goblins to start off the game, but the possession won't last long with the steal by Tyreek Eckwood to give Harbor the first basket of the year. Tyreek with the ball again, who makes a fool out of the defender, steps back and drains the three-point basket for Harbor. Harrison takes possession and puts up a few nice layups to try to make this game interesting, especially with this move here by number 11. But no move is going to live up to these next few plays. First, a fantastic layup by Tyreek Eckwood again, but here it is, sophomore Avery Benson goes up and slams it down, putting the Wildcats ahead. Here it is, what you've been waiting for, Wildcats. Harbor has the ball, throws it up to J.P. Brandon, coming out of nowhere, slamming it down, giving the Wildcats the first alley-oop of the season. The Goblins try to keep up with the Wildcats, but I think it's safe to say that Harbor ran away with this one. The final score, Harbor 66, Harrison 59. For WCSN, I'm Hayden Henry. It was great to see our Wildcats go out there and treat this exhibition game like it was a conference game. And I think we played really well and it was a great preview for this season. Yeah, I agree, Hayden. I think that this season we're going to be awesome. I mean, with the new sophomore Avery Benson and Tyreek uh, Eckwood, I think we're going to do great. Uh, speaking of Tyreek Eckwood, I think he was a real force to be reckoned with. Putting up over 30 points, he's going to make an impact in our season this year. And I think that he might be the player of the game. Yeah, I agree, Hayden. Well, that's all we have for today. Let's kick it back to Jade in the studio. Thanks, guys. I think we all get a little excited when we wake up to snow on the ground on a school day. But this year, we may have to make adjustments to make up for the excessive amount of snow days expected this year. Gerardo took a look into how we prepare for future weather conditions. Tis the season for the snow days, Wildcats, and through these unexpected breaks, a day off turns out to be a bittersweet. 
I personally like snow days because it's an unexpected break from school, but they do impact what we're learning in school because we don't get to learn as much. And it normally happens right before semester exams, so it normally takes a hit on grades. Most students enjoy these snow days. For many teachers, it puts their classes behind for the rest of the year. I think when they have school days or snow days that they forget things. It's like when snow days happen, school doesn't exist anymore and they don't remember anything they learned the day before. Especially in my class, we only have a limited number of days until the EOC in biology. So when I miss a day, it makes it that much harder to get through all the material. Not all students believe that snow is a good thing. It can be hard to catch up and it can make your grades suffer. I feel like it's a huge detriment to the learning environment that we're supposed to be in. You know, we have to be in school to become smarter and if we're not in school, we become dumber. Snow days are different for many people, but there is no doubt that with the hard work and dedication, we can overcome these challenges. For HBWN, I'm Gerardo Soto. Saturday school definitely isn't anyone's ideal start to the weekend. But with the expectation that we will exceed the five allowed snow days, we all might have to wake up a little earlier on our Saturday morning. I sure hope the winter weather doesn't stay around northwest Arkansas for too long. Saturday school would definitely be hard to get used to. That's all we have time for for this show. Make sure you tune in after our holiday, where we begin our final stretch before the new year. For HBWN, I'm Amber Carnish. And I'm Jaden Nash. Put a smile on and happy Thanksgiving.